When you try things to fulfill you, you often want more and more. And then you try new things to fulfill you. You see, you are an eternal being. You will live for eternity. It's about where you will spend that eternity. And it's the eternal one that will only fulfill you. See, you are a body and soul. You cannot fulfill your soul by doing things that only please your body. You will be empty. That's why you want more. It's your soul you want to fulfill. But you don't know that. So you drink. You smoke. You have sex. You play video games. You have hobbies. Just to keep you busy. But you're empty. And need more. It's the one who created souls. That will fulfill your soul. See, when you have Jesus Christ, your soul is at peace. You have joy because you are now connected to the source of life. You are now connected to the source of peace and joy. You are alive now. Before, you were dead. And every drink, every blunt, every relationship, every club... Every party was an attempt to come alive for the night. For you were pleasing the flesh. And you want more because it doesn't last. It's temporary. Just like the flesh. But the soul. The soul. The soul is not temporary. The soul is eternal. And when you do what pleases the soul, you are at peace. See, when you choose to please the flesh, demons and spirits enter you, for they need a body to feel. Demons always want more and more and more and more. Why? Because they are not fulfilled. Because they are cut off from the very thing that will fulfill them. They are cut off from life. They are cut off from the source of life, joy, and peace. They are cut off from God. They are cut off from Jesus Christ. For you were pleasing the flesh when it's your soul that needs peace. For the things of this world will never fulfill your soul. Cars, money, women, men. Nothing of this world will ever fulfill your soul. Only the one who created your soul. This is why Jesus Christ is the answer. To the people who have that peace and fulfillment in Christ Jesus. When we go away and we go astray from Jesus or try to be fulfilled by anything else other than Jesus. We are left wanting more. And then we come back to Jesus because... We know, we know now what fulfilled us. We know what fulfilled us last time. We know what our soul needs. We just, we must continue to walk in this new knowledge that we have. The spirit of life in us. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit now dwells in us. So we must now walk in this knowledge, the knowledge of the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. We must now do all things according to the Spirit. The things of the Spirit and the things of the flesh, they are at odds. They are against each other. For one loves the world and the things of this world. Because that's all it's known. One loves the Father and the things of the kingdom. For that's where he came from. He came from the Father. Therefore he loves the Father. He does not love the world. For if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. True fulfillment comes from Jesus Christ.